Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing the new Peter Wright uh, Snake Bite Mamba 2 Darts from Red Dragon. Uh, I've already reviewed the first version and they've come out with a newer version quite recently. Uh, these are the 22 gram model and they're also available in 24 grams and they're 90% tungsten and they have the nice green PVD cotton on the barrels and the very nice grip and these retail for £54.90 so let's check them out so the darts come in this uh, new cardboard packaging from Red Dragon I think it's the first time I've seen uh, Red Dragon darts come in a box like this and there's a little tab there where you pull out this tray and you're not meant to pull it all the way out but I'll just pull it out uh, there's little magnets on there to hold it in and the little flaps to keep it in but even on the inside it's got the snake bite logo so neat touch there and you've got this dense form insert holding the contents so you've got your darts fitted with the nitro tech stems in a nice uh, green colour you've got your red dragon uh, guarantee certificate and the new snake bite uh, standard shape flights and these are 100 micron uh, colourful flight and nice design on them the darts are fitted with a silver point and it's quite a long straight barrel dart like the uh, previous members that I reviewed but obviously these ones have got a tapered nose and very slightly tapered on the, the end there and you've also got these little uh, notches along the nose so there's a little bit of grip off them notches but not much but the main grip is off this uh, very nice shark style grip with the lateral grooves cut through it um, it's certainly a high level grip that um, not quite the middle but uh, just in front of the middle you've got a normal ring grip section but a uh, nice feel to that grip um, certainly plenty of grip for most people I would imagine but it doesn't seem like it's uh, edgy so it's not sticking into my skin but I think it may be slightly rounded off so it should release okay without sticking and you've got the section of uh, grip there and on the end just them little notches and then it's mostly smooth so guess it depends on where you're going to grip so for front grippers and probably rear grippers it's just about the right spot but nice feel to it uh, the green on this one looks a little bit greener than it did on the previous members that I reviewed the other ones kind of looked a bit more yellow but it uh, looks quite nice on this one and then you've got your night road tech stems and the new uh, snake bike flights, another nice uh, flight design. The darts fitting with a silver 26mm point, it's got a tapered nose to the front of the barrel which is mostly smooth apart from the elongated grooves that's 8.3mm wide and then you've got the shark style grip, I think it's called the delta grip with the notches cut through it that's 11mm wide and then you've got some normal ring grip wide rings on the end and thin rings and grooves in the middle that's 7.7mm wide and then you've got more of the delta grip which is 16.6mm wide and then a smooth section at the end apart from the notches that's 11mm wide length is 54.6mm and the width is 6.2mm grams. 22.06 grams and 22.07 grams and the full setup is 23.94 grams 
With nothing attached the balance is slightly towards the front and with the supplied setup it moves just behind the centre point and this is the balance with medium in between short extra short stems and standard flights. smooth just uh, a little bit of spin but I was expecting that with the being grippy like it is it feels quite effortless to throw though it's quite a long barrel for me but uh, I'm whacking me chin sometimes on the draw back feel to the grip. So I'm going to move up to around the middle so I'm a little bit on that ring grip and on the delta grip behind it. And it seemed to be a bit smoother through the air from that position. too bad there from where that middle was. I was getting a, a little bit more grip just above it so I'm going to move to the rear. I'm just going to go right to the end of the delta grip not to the end of the barrel and just a little bit where the notches are. Got quite a lot of spin on that one. Feeling this a little bit more awkward but it usually is when it's a long barrel. Throwing it with the rear grip is a little bit more awkward for me. No reason why it shouldn't be okay for natural rear grippers though. Oh, them two were alright, but I've got a lot of spin on them. the Red Dragon Peter Wright Snakebite Mamba 2 darts. Um, it's a dart that could probably suit any style of grip but like I said for people who are going to be gripping around that delta grip you're going to get the best out of it. It's very nice feel to that grip. Uh, it's quite comfortable on the front so it should be okay for front grippers. I don't normally get on with tapers but it just felt quite comfortable on this one. And from the middle it was quite smooth and nicely balanced but like I said I was just slightly on the uh, delta grip there and from the rear I didn't try it right at the end of the barrel but I was still on that grip uh, 
I seemed to get quite a lot more spin from there, but it felt a little bit more awkward for me, but no reason why it shouldn't be uh, okay for natural rear grippers, but very nice start. Um, obviously, I'm going to play with them a bit longer, and I think the stems on these are about equivalent to a, a tweeny size, so I may try them with some short stems on, because it is quite a long barrel for these. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll just report back on the forum review how I get on. But uh, very nice looking that. I think the green on these is a little bit better than it was on the uh, the first version of the Mamba that I reviewed. And like I said, that's a very nice uh, feel to that grip as well. So if you want a fairly grippy dart um, and you like long barrels, then it's well worth a look. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.